Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to connect our React application to Add Employee REST API. Well, in previous lecture, we have designed Add Employee form, and whenever users submit this form, then our React application have to connect to Add Employee REST API, and then our React application will send this form information to Add Employee REST API, and Add Employee REST API internally store this form data into MySQL database. All right, great. So let us take a look into the development steps. In employee service, we will write the REST client code to call add employee REST API using Axios. Next, we will change employee component to call employee service method. Next, we will navigate to list employee page after form submission done. And finally, we will test all these changes. All right. So let us head over to employee service and let us write the REST client code to call add employee REST API using Axios. So here, let us head over to VS Code and go to employee service.js file and here let us write the rest client code to call add employee rest api so let us create the arrow function and let us export it so export const and then let's give the name create employee and this is arrow function and this arrow function takes employee object and this employee object holds the employee form data next arrow symbol and then call Axios dot post. Well, in order to send the post HTTP request, we have to use post method. Next, let us pass the URL that is REST API base URL and second parameter as a employee object. Perfect. Now we have written a REST client code to call add employee REST API using Axios dot post method. All right, great. Next, let us take a look into next step. Next step is change employee component to call employee service method well just now we have created create employee method in a employee service so let us call this method from the employee component so go to employee component over here so here we have save employee function so within this save employee function let us call the create employee method from employee service.js file so here let us call create employee method from employee service and make sure that this create employee should import it at the top. Next, this create employee expect employee object. So let us pass this employee object. And notice here this employee object contains first name, last name, email. Next, let us call then method. And then this then method expect the promise object. It contains the response. So here, response. And then let us get the response using arrow function over here. So here, let us print the response console.log and then response dot data perfect now we have changed employee component to call create employee method from employee service next let us take a look into next step next step is navigate to list employees page after form submission done well whenever user submit add employee form then user have to navigate to the list of employees page isn't it so let us write the logic to navigate user to list employees page after form submission done so let us go to our project again. So in order to navigate user from one page to another page, we can use use navigate hook. So here let us first import use navigate hook. Import and then use navigate hook from React router down library. Perfect. So use navigate hook is nothing but a JavaScript function. So we can call use navigate hook here and then we can assign this function to a variable so const const and then navigator equal to use navigate okay next let us go ahead and let us use this navigator within this create employee method so after this console.log just call navigator and then let us pass the url that is slash employees and notice here this slash employees will navigate to the list employee component for example if you go to app.jsx and you can see the route slash employees so whenever user hit this link in the browser then user should navigate to list employee component isn't it perfect next let's go back to employee component.jsx now we have navigated user to list of employees page whenever a user submit this add employee form next let us take a look into next step next step is test above changes next let us go to our project and let us see 
our applications are running in a development server or not yes our applications are running let's go to browser and just refresh now let us fill up the add employee form over here so first name let us say tom last name cruz email tom at the rate gmail.com and click on submit button and there we go you can able to see here tom employees added to the list of employees table all right and you can see the console log here the response is printed the response contains id 6 it means our react application has successfully connected with add employee rest api well let us verify this data in a database as well so let us go to mysql document over here and go to ems database go to employees table and look at here tom employee successfully inserted in a employees table it means we have successfully connected our react application to add employee rest api and we have stored the employee form data into a employees table all right perfect in next lecture we will see how to validate the add employee form all right, Gita, I will see you in the next lecture.